Hello, and welcome to episode 36 of my Let's Play Vanilla Minecraft. I am KHM, and uh, it's been a while since we've been in my single player world here. I haven't really been in here since uh, 1.5 came out, and as you can see, it is now 1.62. Yeah. Now, this is the main reason why I haven't really been in this world much. Pretty much every time I log in, I see this, and it just gets... it just depresses me. So much time and effort to this auto-brewing stand, only to have them make it not work in the final version of uh, the Red Power update, or Redstone update. <sighs> oh well. So, it, it's time I kind of get over this and move on. So... For my first little project, I decided to make this thing work here. Now I've switched it out, or the hell? I'm switched it on. I've switched it to uh, to uh, use a two hopper system. Uh, damn taskbar. To use a two hopper system, similar to the uh, item sorting system that we had on the uh, SMP server. It pumps, or it uh, checks see how much is in there with this, and uh, pumps it out into uh, this uh, dropper here, or yeah, dropper, which is hooked up to a uh, uh, redstone pulser, or comparator that is acting as a pulser, pulling double duty. And uh, it will continuously pulse the dropper whenever it has enough items in it to trigger the dropper. And then, uh, something. Uh, I'm just gonna do that. No real good reason, just why not. Um, actually, I suppose it would probably be better the other way around. There we go. Anyway, so that's pretty much it for that. Uh, not a whole lot to it, really. So, I'm gonna close this up. Oh yeah, there's a fire down there that it's uh, dropping the uh, zombie flesh into. That way I can stop getting so damn much zombie flesh. Let's see, yep, I need to be, yep, you too. Alrighty then, and you. Perfect. Can't even tell that there's something down there anymore. <sighs> okay. Now, I've been trying to figure out what I should work on next. And it's apparently night time. Hmm. Been kind of thinking about it, uh, uh, debating about what I should do with the potion room. I've decided I'm just gonna leave this potion room here. I might actually put up this wall or something. Well, oh, maybe I'll just leave it open as kind of a uh, monument to my failure. Ah. <sighs> and uh, build a new potion room if I decide to try to explore the auto brewery again. Um, anyway, but I was kind of thinking of, uh, well, in the uh, SMP server before it got shut down, I was actually thinking about building a stadium. Now, a stadium wouldn't really be of any real practical use here in single player world, but it still might be kind of an interesting thing to build. So I've been kind of thinking of uh, building one anyway. Now, uh, granted, the basic stadium that you generally see in uh, people build in Minecraft that just, you know, have a circular area where people fight and that's pretty much it. That, it's kind of boring. That's not really what interests me. What interests me is the potential for automating uh, the supply rooms for them. 
have uh, like several systems to collect materials for players to uh, craft into weapons and other resources to use uh, during the game, which uh, might be interesting. Cobble gen. Um. So yeah. I think I'll go find a site go, uh, uh, to build such a thing. Um, I'll go hunting off camera. Alright, after a little bit of scouting out, about three kilometers out, I think I may have found the perfect place. This jungle. Now, I'm going to have to clear out a lot of this crap, but it uh, uh, is a big enough single biome area. Although this river going through it might cause me problems. But uh, I won't really know what I'm dealing with until I clear out all this jungle here. But the close proximity to both uh, uh, swamp and tundra is quite nice. And I believe there's also some desert like over there. So this would probably be a good place to build a uh, stadium. Which uh, uh, might be kind of an inter well, which should be interesting. It's going to require quite a bit of work. And, uh, I don't really have the infrastructure necessary to support a, uh, such an, a, a project this far away from my base. So I'm going to have to build a few more things before I really get to this. I'm going to leave this pillar of wood to, uh, uh show me where I was looking at before. And uh, I was kind of hoping to bump into some horses while I was out here on this adventure. Brought some stuff for that, some leads, a saddle. And I wanted to bring some wheat, but I couldn't find any, so... I apparently will need to grow some more in my, uh, at home. So... Hmm. I think I'm going to go ahead and look for some horses while I'm out here. Maybe an easy-to-raid dungeon. Um, and then I'll head back to the base. I just found a uh, witch hut. Interesting, there does not actually appear to be a witch in the hut. But I uh, have the location recorded so I can come visit it again if I so desire. Haha, -ha, my first horse. Oh, lag. Not seeing any others around. Are they in a hole? Yeah, they're in the holes. <laughs> Hmm. All right, well, let's try this uh, surface dweller first. He doesn't like me. So... I just keep right-clicking on him, and I eventually... This doesn't seem to be working. But makes a rather interesting sound. Alright. Wiki time. Oh, an empty hand. Ah. So this one has, what, 13 hearts? So you're you're fine with me now? All right. Oh. Okay, I guess he's mine now. 
where's my saddle? I'll put a saddle on him so we can move him around. Alright, how high can we jump? Whoa. Do we have any blocks? Yes, we do. And we shift. Clicking doesn't work. Alright. Uh, right. Let's shift to get off. Okay, can we jump two blocks? We can, yes. Okay, how about three blocks? Alright. Yes! Yes, we can sort of jump three blocks. Okay, that's not a bad horse. And speed? I'm pretty sure that's faster than uh, uh, what I could achieve uh, uh, on foot. Yep. So that's good. Pop down a fence post. Uh, Get him up. Come on. This way. Just plop you down there. Oops. Take that saddle back. And let's go find the uh, one that was in a hole. <sighs> okay. Looked like the leash broke for a minute there. Where was that horse? No, no, that's not good. No, you scroll off. Haha. <laughs> not that, that affects the game at all, just the light kind of bugs me. And now I can't find that horse. Of course. Of course. Oh, there it is. Wait. Alright. So open hand. Right click. Uh, this one only has, what, eight hearts? Okay, he likes me now. I think. Can't seem to actually open up his inventory. Okay, let's stick a saddle on him. And take him out for a ride. Okay, you can clear two blocks. Got a decent speed to him. Uh, right, left shift. Alright, let's see. How can you... How well can you jump three blocks? Okay, he can jump three blocks fairly easily. Okay, sweet. Um... Right, left shift. Leash. Attach him to that. This is three blocks, right? Yes, it is, okay. It won't look like it from a distance. Are those the only two horses around here? Oh, it's probably an egg. Oops. Oop, damn it. Hmm. All 
Alright, well, oops. I didn't mean to free you guys. You. Get hitched there. There it is. You. Also hitched to that. Yeah, it looks like it's getting to be about night time. I'm going to go build temporary shelter over here. Oops. And uh, we shall continue uh, our hunt for more horses in the morning. All right. I did not find any more horses, so I just went ahead and brought them back here. It was a rather interesting little journey bringing them back, but I actually managed to do it. And I've been trying to think of what I want to tackle next, and I think I want to finally fix this thing here. This has been bugging me since months before I stopped playing. What I think I'm going to do is I'm going to build a... I'm going to remove all the pistons, and I'm going to build a tower of droppers here. Okay. Build a nice oops, tower of droppers, like that. And then place blocks and create a tower of torches right next to it. And then I'll hook up a pulser to it that uh, uh, is hooked up to uh, the internet. I don't have any with me. A pulser that's hooked up to a comparator that's uh, going from the output of uh, uh, the bottom one. Oh yeah, I also have a hopper putting items into the. Oh, actually, you know, I'm not entirely sure an, a hopper would be able to keep up with this. <laughs> Perhaps a line of hoppers. Yeah, that might be a good idea. A line of hoppers that goes into the bottom one. I don't know, that wouldn't really work either. Huh. Yeah, I don't think hoppers can actually keep up with the output of this farm. One hopper was not able to do... Uh, the farm that I had in the SMP world, and uh, this one is a lot bigger than that one. It only really has space for one, so I'm gonna have to come up with something a little different than what I had originally thought. Hmm, maybe parallel lines of hoppers that feed it to chess? More hoppers? I don't know. I have to think about it, I guess. Um, I should tear that apart while I think about it. So, I'm going to go ahead and get to work on this, think about it a bit more off camera, and I'll be back when I have a bit more to show. Alright, I have made the adjustments here. Now I have the uh, tower of droppers and a redstone tower right next to it to propel items upward. I have uh, two hopper lines here feeding stuff into this uh, bottom dropper. Uh, let's see. I have uh, a uh, comparator here up against the very bottom dropper here that it will send a signal through these uh, uh, two repeaters which will lengthen it. Um, increase the amount of time by about eight torches and feed the signal into this uh, uh, other comparator which is set in subtraction mode and feeding into itself turning it to a pulsar which will send the signal over to here the redstone tower which will carry the signal up uh, pushing items upward and uh, up on top Oh, actually, I should probably remove that stack of blocks I just placed. Alright, um... 
see up here behind here I've removed the redstone wire going over in this direction it's no longer needed I've elevated all these blocks by about one and uh, put some drop or some hoppers here droppers will uh, feed the items into this uh, water th uh, way here which will carry the wa the items over to this uh, hopper which will put them into a double chest over here now there might not be enough uh, uh, Timer going off in the background for some reason. Anyway, there might not be enough hoppers here, and so I might have to put in another line of hoppers for that. But uh, for the time being, I'm going to stick with this, see how well it works. Alright, so I've grown all this wheat here just so we can test this. Quickly run down here. And pull this up. There it goes. Here's some torches burning out, but that doesn't actually seem to make much of a difference. Okay, it seems to have hit its limit there. I was afraid of this. It's not able to push up. Well, it's not able to collect items fast enough. I suppose I should probably start my own timer. Hmm. Actually, you know what? I'll just sit here and record and use the uh, video as a timer. Anyway, let's go up top. Have a look at the. Uh, Thing up here, see how well this is working. Well, items do seem to be making it over to this chest, that's good. I was testing it out with uh, stone blocks, so that's why there's stone blocks there. Alright, now I'm going to sit here and watch this and see how well this does. Oh, it looks like everything's disappeared. It means it is either despawned, or it has, uh... Or it has actually gotten everything in there. I don't think it's gotten everything in there. I guess we'll find out when the thing finishes. Transferring everything up to this chest here. Yeah, there's definitely not all that stuff in there. Well, I'll go ahead and replant everything and wait for this thing to finish its output. And, uh, make some adjustments accordingly. Alright, I've been kinda sitting here trying to think of a way to do this, to handle the volume needed. And, you know, I don't think this item elevator is going to be able to do the job. I think I'm gonna have to rip this whole thing out again and uh, replace it with yet another system. I think what I'm probably going to end up doing is building some sort of uh, asynchronous minecart loader over there, and basically have the items fall into a uh, minecart with hopper, and when the minecart with hopper is full, it shoots that off to uh, some unloading station, and another one immediately takes its place to gather more items and just have like a big dispenser of minecarts with hoppers and yeah I think that's what I'm gonna have to use not sure exactly how I'm going to squeeze it in this little space here but I suppose I'll find a way I usually seem to hmm 
So what I'm thinking is to build the uh, asynchronous minecart loader about here. Removing all this and replacing it with tracks. And maybe like a dispenser right next to it or something. A, a uh, minecart dispenser. Hmm. Yeah. I'm gonna think about that a little bit more off camera. And I'm gonna figure out what to do next, yeah. Alright, as you can see, I am here in the nether, and I've done a little bit of work. I received this back into the wall a little bit. I think that looks better than having it protruding like it was. Um, now, the reason why we're here in the nether is... Uh, I need gold. I was working on the, uh, the thing there, and then I remembered... To, oh yeah, the reason why I'm not working on the, um, the arena is because I don't have any gold. So, we're going to build ourselves another gold farm, similar to what we did in the, uh, or similar to what I did in the, uh, multiplayer, uh, well, on the server, the SMP, which, uh, unfortunately got, uh, cancelled, or something, uh, server disappeared. Anyway, moving on. So, we're gonna go up here above, uh, Bedrock again. Now, I am sorely tempted to just remove this with, well, to just enter in creative mode and just break my way through the bedrock. Since, you know, it... Hmm. I don't know. Uh, if anybody is actually watching this, what do you think? Should I just go into creative mode and just break the bedrock, or just continue to use ender pearls through it? Because on the one hand, ender pearls... It does seem a bit fair. I, I, I don't know. Anyway, so, we're just going to move on. Basically, if I enter Pearl through here, we come to this here. Does this only require one Ender Pearl to get through that? Well, anyway, I've already started building a facility up here. A uh, catching room. I have this over the exact spot we come out of. Um, I'm gonna go with a, you know, I don't know. I'm debating about what, using a different design than I did in the SMP world, but, hmm, not sure. There's two, basically, ways to go about this. There's the line and the funnel. Um, let me just go drop off some of this stuff here. Grab some blocks. I believe I have some over here. Let's get some non-smooth stuff. Eh, a couple will be fine for this. Um, Alright, basically there's the line. Which basically just has a... Uh, two spawning pads that, are, that make up a line. Pistons on either side. And some... Uh, string with trip wires going across and it pushes whatever spawns on the pads into the trench or into the um, center line hole thing and then there's also the funnel which is what I used in the SMP server basically you have a uh, rings of spawning pads that push their uh, whatever spawns on them into the center drop. Both work on gravity, <laughs> but, uh, uh, well, the uh, funnel is a bit more efficient on the uh, hopper thing, since you just need one. The uh, line you need a great number of hoppers to form will a center line and a line in the center to uh, gather up all the drops. Uh, come to think of it, I actually built a uh, line style spawner here in the nether uh, as an attempt to get skulls, but I've since recently learned that, uh, uh, well, I've since learned that skulls do not drop from withers like that, so it's kind of a waste. Yep, almost, well, pretty much all that work I did uh, uh, 
filling that hole, that big gaping hole here in the nether. Basically gone to waste. It, it's pointless. The, the I'm tripping over my own thoughts here. Anyway, so we have the line or the funnel. I'm not sure which I'll go for. Thinking the line, but the funnel also has kind of a, several advantages. <sighs> Don't know. Hmm. Suppose I'll just have to think about it. Or something. Uh, um, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and think about that, design it off camera, and work on it. And I'll probably come back when it's. Uh, when I've got a, at least a framework up. Alright, as you can see, I have uh, built the uh, system here, the grinder. I went with the line style. Um, it's about 32 blocks long. And I believe I have eight uh, rows of spawning pads. As you can see, it is uh, currently spawning zombie pigmen and killing them. I'm currently getting about uh, um, a stack and a half of gold nuggets per hour, which isn't really all that great. Uh, can be improved upon by increasing the number of... Ah, damn, it's taskbar. Move that up there by the number of rows. So I'm going to have to do that, but I'll do that off camera. Oops. I decided to put the, build the whole thing about 20 blocks off the uh, bedrock. So that way I can get lots of rows up there, while still having a, a room underneath of it to build stuff. Yes, and I I died more times than I care to count trying to build this thing. And went through several stacks of ender pearls to get back up here. And I've come to the conclusion that only uh, two ender pearls are needed to uh, get through that. Which is... Uh, one ender pearl nicer than in the SMP on the SMP server. <sighs> hmm. Well, I've still got plenty of resources with me here, and I could probably add a few more layers onto this, so that shouldn't be too much of an issue. Um. Let's see. I think uh, we're getting to about the end of the episode here. So uh, I'm going to do something that I have never done before and have actually been hoping I would not have to do, but here it is. If you liked the episode, click the like button below. Click the like button below. If you don't, click the hate button below. If you are, if you feel very neutral towards it, you don't have to press anything. <laughs> but uh, I'd appreciate a few likes. I think my overall channel, the number of views I get might improve if I get more likes. Uh, but I don't want to force you guys. I, I've been intentionally avoiding the issue because um, I, I don't want to, I, I didn't want to have to be the kind of, I, the guy who asked for likes that always kind of annoys me in videos but here it is I'm giving it a shot so if you like the video press the like um there goes the zombie pigman to his doom so once again I am KHM and uh, I'll gather some more gold so we can probably do something of interest in the next episode